When a lens is held 10 centimeters from a piece of paper, the image of words on paper appears to be upright and magnified two times. Find A, the location of the image, B, the type of lens used, and C, the focal length of the lens. The lens is held 10 centimeters from the paper. That means 10 centimeters is the object distance, DO, because the paper, the words on the paper is the object. The magnification is two times, so M equals to two. And because it is an upright image, that means the M is positive two. And we want to find the location of the image, which means we're looking for the eye. The type of lens used and the focal length of the lens means we're looking for the F. First, we can use the magnification equation to find the DI. The magnification is negative DI over DO. And this is positive 2, so it's negative DI over DO is 10. Therefore, we get DI must be negative 20 centimeters. This negative, of course, tells us this is a virtual image. Well, of course, we already know it is a virtual image because it is an upright image, so it matches that. And it is 20 centimeters away. Because it is a virtual image produced by a lens, and the lens lets light go through, that means if it is a virtual image, it must be in front of the lens. And it's 20 centimeters away. Over here, at the by in front of the lens, I mean it is on the same side as the words on paper. So the image of the words on paper is on the same side as the words on paper. The image and the object are on the same side of the lens. Part B, we want to know the type of lens used. Because we know we're getting an upright, bigger image, the only kind of lens or mirror that can give us an upright, bigger image are the concave mirrors and the converging lens. So this must be a converging lens. A convex mirror or a diverging lens can only give us upright smaller images. Now let's find the focal length. We can use the mirror lens equation 1 over the O plus 1 over the I equals to 1 over F. The O is 10. The I is negative 20. So this gives us 20, and then this will be 2 minus 1. So this gives us 1 over 20, which is 1 over F. So F is 20 centimeters. The focal length being positive matches with the converging lens, because a converging lens has positive focal length. A converging lens is like a concave mirror. For a concave mirror, we know that it produces a virtual upright bigger images when the object is placed within the focal lens. Same thing for a converging lens. In this problem, the object is placed at 10 centimeters away, which is less than the focal length of 20 centimeters. Therefore, the image we get is a virtual upright bigger image. This is what happens when we use a converging lens as a magnifying glass. Here I have a converging lens. As you can see, it is thicker in the middle. When I hold this lens really close to the paper, I get magnified upright images.